Hi and welcome back. This is a follow-up video from my second video that I produced about KeyPass password safe. If you recall and you have watched my previous video, I was explaining how to use a YubiKey alongside KeyPass to provide an extra layer of security to the master KeyPass database. In this video, I thought I would explain how to use KeyPass OTP, which is a plugin that works inside of KeyPass, which provides two-factor authentication to websites that you have stored in your database and which use two-factor authentication as a method to access the website. Rather than using Google Authenticator, I found this method a lot easier by having the two-factor authentication option within KeyPass so that everything is all together in one database. Some people might say this is a bit unsecure, but alongside having a YubiKey to access the master database, I feel this is as secure as it needs to be, in my opinion. However, if you choose to have a separate device or option for two-factor authentication, then that's quite up to you. Let's take a look at KeyPass OTP, install it and uh, proceed to uh, test it. So first you need to go to the keypass.info website, as you'll see I've done here on the address bar, which is https keypass.info and you need to be on the home page. Once you're on the home page, you need to click on the plugins, extensions, menu option from the left hand side, as you'll see here. Select that, which will bring up a list of all the KeyPass plugins and extensions that work with KeyPass. Now under the integration and transfer list, you will see from the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth item down, you will see KeyPass OTP. Now you need to click on this option just to confirm it is KeyPass OTP and not Key OTP2 that you need. So click on KeyPass OTP. This will then take you to the section where the plugin is and you need to select website from the KeyPass OTP option. Once you have been taken to the KeyPass OTP plugin on GitHub, you need to scroll down under the table of contents and select download and updates. Then from the next option that appears under download and updates, select download newest release. Once you have selected the download newest release, it should automatically bring up the save as window where you can save the plugin to your local PC or a network drive. Here the file name is called KeyPass OTP and it's a PLGX file extension. Click save. This has then saved the plugin to my local hard drive. So if I browse to my local hard drive where the plugin has been downloaded to, which in my case it's the data drive on the Z and it's the downloads folder, you will see that there's a file called KeyPass OTP. What you need to do, firstly, is make sure that KeyPass is not open and you need to right click on the file, cut it, and then go to your local disk C drive, select program files, not program files x86, you need to select program files in most cases, and look for the folder called KeyPass password safe 2. Select this folder, then from within that folder you should see a plugins folder. So double click to select the plugins folder and then in the plugins folder you need to paste this plugin into the plugins folder. You will need to provide administrator permissions to move to this folder. Click continue and then you will see that the file has now been pasted into the plugins folder. You can then proceed to close the window. You can also proceed to exit 
the KeePass website and also the GitHub website as you will no longer need these open any, any longer. So now what you need to do is open up KeePass as you would normally do, keying in your master password and also using your YubiKey if you have YubiKey enabled as a key file provider as well in addition to your master password. This should then open up KeePass, password safe and if you browse to the tools option and select options from the pull down menu as you will see I've done here you should then see a plugin tab at the right hand side just to the right of advanced when you open up the options window. Click on the plugins options and you should automatically have populated KeePass OTP overview tabs and under that there should be a general tab OTP settings and also more information and the window should be populated with OTP information. Here you will see that I've already entered a KeePass OTP hotkey as being F3 which is the F3 key on my keyboard which I would press to automatically enter the copied two-factor authentication code into the relevant website that it's applicable for. You can choose any key provided that the key hasn't already been used within KeePass. For example, F1 is already set by default as the help key, so you would not be able to use that. Just for information, I use the F2 key to autotype usernames and passwords into websites, and then I thought I would use the F3 key, which is the next one along on the keyboard, to autotype the two-factor authentication code. So that's basically all it takes to set up the KeePass OTP plugin and have it enabled in KeePass password safe. So once you have checked the plugins options and you can see it's been populated, click OK. This will then take you back to the KeePass database. So let me show you now how to add two-factor authentication into a website. So as an example, here I am on the amazon.co.uk website. I'm going to select sign in and use my auto type F2 key to type in my usual username and password into the Amazon website. Then I'm going to select my account from the menu and select login and security. Now to access my Amazon account, it's asking me to uh, click a link to uh, approve the security access notification. Once in the login and security option screen, I'm going to select turn on for two step verification. So select turn on and then select get started. Then when they enroll a 2SV authenticator option appears. I'm going to select Authenticator app. So with the Amazon Authenticator app window open with the QR code showing, you then need to go back, right click on the KeePass database entry. For example, in this case, it's Amazon. Then with the right click menu that appears, you need to scroll down to the bottom, select KeePass OTP, and then from the sub-menu that appears, select OTP Setup. This will then bring up the window that you can see on the screen at the moment. So with this open, you then need to go back to the Amazon website and click on the QR code and drag it and drop it into KeePass OTP menu that appears where you will see drag and drop a valid Q OTP QR code. So you need to drag it and drop it there. This will then populate the seed box as you'll see on the screen and it will also produce OTP with a timer bar going down as you'll see with the green bar here, which produces OTP codes. You then need to go back to the Amazon website 
as you will see I've done here and then under the box below the QR code you need to press your hotkey which is going to paste the OTP code into the box. Once you have pasted or typed in the 2FA code you can then select got it turn on two-step verification then you should be presented with the web page that you'll see on screen here and it should say you've turned on two-step verification and you should have an authenticator app one app enrolled and also backup method sent by text message which you can obviously remove if you choose to so that completes adding two-step verification to the amazon.co.uk website you can then sign out of your account as usual you can then proceed to click OK on the KeyPass OTP plugin window that appears on top of the KeyPass database. This will then take you back to your main KeyPass database. You need to select Save Database to ensure that the changes for OTP have been applied to the relevant website account that you've just set up in this case for Amazon. That completes adding an OTP entry to one of the websites in the KeyPass database. You just need to follow the various instructions for each website that you want to apply OTP for. Then in future, all you need to do to sign in using your two-factor authentication OTP option in KeyPass is click sign in or to type your normal email and password to log in to the Amazon website. Then you will be presented with a two-step verification and enter OTP window. So then you need to bring back up KeyPass, right click on the applicable entry, scroll down to KeyPass OTP, which you'll not be able to see on the screen at the moment. And then you will see a copy OTP option appear. Select copy OTP option. This will then bring up a timer with an OTP entry option and you need to do control V, paste the OTP two-factor authentication code in the browser. Click sign in and this will then take you in to the website as normal using two-factor authentication OTP. Once I've applied KeyPass two-factor authentication to various websites, I tend to change the icon against each entry so that you know in future that it's got OTP two-factor authentication applied to it. So to do this, you right click on the relevant entry and from the menu that appears, which you can't actually see on screen at the moment, you need to select edit entry and then from the edit window that appears you need to click on the icon in this case it's a yellow key which will then bring up another window where you can select a different icon and choose one which you find is applicable to uh, reminding you that two-factor authentication OTP has been applied to that entry. In this case I'm using entry number 51 as you'll see it's just changed to a padlock icon so I will click OK and then once back at the main KeyPass database you will see that the icon has now changed to a padlock against Amazon so once you have done this you then need to save the database change by clicking the save database icon as you'll see I'm hovering over here this then applies that new icon to that entry so just carry on and select each relevant entry that you wish to apply two-factor authentication to remembering to click the save icon after it and also then selecting file save as and save a copy of the KeyPass database so that you have another copy of the database as a backup. 
I hope you found this video useful. Please keep a look out for further videos coming again soon. Please do hit the subscribe button and also the like button. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.